little bit about me. I actually have been living on a bus for about, I would probably say half a year. And this is my bus right here. I call my bus EMT, the sun bus. The only reason I do that is because as you can see at the very top of it, it has solar panels. And I really like these solar panels. I think they're super cool. So let's take a look real quick. I figured the easiest way would be to show you the inside of the bus and just to kind of like show you what's going on with it. It's right here. We have a fully uh, furnished kitchen with storage bins up here at the top. Plugs like you would find in a house and I can turn the lights on. Uh, my phone is charging. I love my background which is all night from here, Aka. Um, and this is one of the parts that I'm the most proud of, which is the back of my bus. It ha hosts this Pioneer Mini Split, which if I press this button, watch, it turns it on to either hot or cold. Right now it's summer, so even though it's like 9 a.m. in the morning, it's almost like 80 or 90 degrees here in Texas where we are. So keeping it cool in the summers is a really nice priority um as you can see this is not a wall this is actually a murphy bed frame and what i do is i unhook these guys right here and here is the bed and now it becomes a bed but all you have to do is just um now that it's on the floor just push it this way here and there we go that is our bed frame right there it's much more environmentally friendly which is something I really want in this bus build to be able to live in a sus more sustainable environmental uh, friendly way um, so anyway um, that's the bus and in a minute my friend Travis and my friend Tyler um, actually my friend Tyler might be at work but my friend Travis is going to be helping me move the bus out of um, this place that I'm parked at I'm parked at this very nice friend's house and my friend Travis um, is going to help me go ahead and um, move the bus. So uh, we'll check back in in a minute. Small side note, I just hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that huge milestone, by the way. If you stay tuned till the end of the video, you'll see a special giveaway contest announcement. So be sure to watch until the end so you don't miss it. guys we just made it to comic-con let me show y'all we went ahead and parked and it's looking like it's a really cloudy day today so um, it's nice that we made it here you know in one piece we're pretty ready to go ahead and film the day uh, comic-con opens at 12 it's around um, 11:30 or something like that so we have about 30 minutes to go ahead and get prepped and get our cosplay together and enjoy the con so we'll see you then so we just finished our cosplay i'm dressed up as shota aizawa from my hero academia and i'm gonna go ahead and head out and meet other cosplayers let's go Tanjiro and Nezuko and of course you can see Tanjiro is always taking care of Nezuko-chan was great and all, but I was ready to play Ocarina for a couple of people. So in these next videos, you're going to see me 
cosplaying for a bunch of cosplayers trying to play a theme from what they were cosplaying as. Let's get to it. And I had to stop at this booth because it was like a 90s kid's dream. It was full to the brim with a bunch of awesome action figures and Super Nintendo cartridges and I just had to stop and look. What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is... I like the Battletoads. I see it right here, man. Yeah, the Battletoads. That's what's up. I had a chance to play for these really sweet kids and they were so excited about Ocarina. I gotta hear Bonita's song. Yes! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! song is so pretty. Do you hear the song of Haley? And whenever you're trying to play for people, sometimes things don't go quite right. So we just finished our first day of Comic-Con and here is a little bit of the footage. Right now the bus is parked 
right out the parking lot. So we're gonna try to stealth camp tonight and stay at the parking lot of the convention and hopefully things will go well. Um, I wouldn't normally um, stealth camp here, but I'm just trying an experiment to see if it's cool, you know, to stay here. It seems like a safe parking lot. There's other vans out here that are also staying, so I figured it would be cool if my bus stayed out here as well. Um, and besides, the events go until 11, so either way, like, I still have a reason or an excuse to be here. Um, but I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day, edit footage, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this, like, little footage compilation that I'm gonna put together. I wonder if any nomads have ever tried to camp at an anime convention before. This might be first ever. If you're a nomad and you're watching this, comment if you've ever camped or stealth camped at an anime convention i am about to cook my dinner this frozen pizza it looks delicious it's vegetarian all right i'm gonna peace out for the night enjoy my dinner and i will hey guys how's it going so oh i just woke up um i slept through the night fine there were a couple of times where i heard weird sounds outside but <clears throat> overall it was a pretty smooth, safe camping experience. I actually think that a few people camp out here just so that they can be here like when the lines are very short in the morning. Today is day two of Comic-Con! So, so excited about it. Um, what I was gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of is my costume for today. This is my costume for today's Comic-Con and I'm going to be Medieval Link. So we'll see how that turns out. I really wanted to be a Nosuke, but I figured today's the biggest day of Comic-Con. It has the most events. And I also figured that it would probably behoove me to choose something that I could play the ocarina without taking the mask off for. So Inosuke, I'm sorry, man. You're gonna have to wait another day. Let's get to it. I'm gonna start my day off by busking outside the entrance before the place opens. So let's get to that. But that busking session was really successful, so let's take a look at the spoils. Now the police did stop and ask, well they didn't stop and ask me, but they stopped and looked at me. <clears throat> and they saw my sign, you know, that I was playing, that I'm Ocarina Owl. That's why I encourage if you busk and you're a musician to make a sign, because that like gets, you know, people off, like, you know, they, they get to like know who you are, kind of like you're giving a concert and stuff like that. Now, this is uh, the case where I keep most of my stuff, and this Roshi, I don't know if I got it on tape. I'll try to see if I can highlight it, but this Roshi right here gave me a 20, and that makes all the difference, man. It really does, because my entry fee was 55, so let's see if I made back my entry fee. Starting with 20, and this other wonderful person who asked me for a Legend of Zelda song, gave me a 10, so that's already 30, so I'm already pretty close. I'm already halfway there. Um, so this is um, 35, 51, 52. Some of the people were really, really nice. They were like, just wanting to hear Zelda songs. Usually those are the ones that people love to hear on Ocarina. 53, 54, and you're not gonna believe this, this is exactly the entry fee. I promise you this is not staged. This is really cool. I cannot believe this is the exact entry fee. Oh my gosh, 55. Dang, I didn't even count it when I started, when I stopped. Like that is crazy. 55 right there, exactly my entry fee. So I got into this convention for free and I am pretty much just gonna head out and uh, go record more vlogging. Um, I'm still thinking about whether I should do Inosuke or not today, but I'm really, 
I don't know, I'm really torn in between doing my own self and Inosuke. We'll have to see. I may change my mind. Alright, see you there. day two at Comic Con. That was pretty crazy. I'm gonna show y'all right now a footage film of all the stuff that I did. Thank you so much. But while you guys watch that, I'm gonna be eating this really delicious ramen right here. Veggie ramen. So yeah, I'll see y'all soon. This guy's booth was full of amazing books that he had written, so I chose to include him in the video. Serge Duncan is coming out with a new single. Yeah. I think. Or maybe he already did. Mm -hmm. Get into the thing! Oh, dude!
recognize that, man. That's, That's a one. good one. Ichigo Steam. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Hey, uh, so I was going to say I finished um, yesterday, um, <clears throat> and today's day three. I forgot to record when I got home, but I got home pretty late. But this is our last day. It has been really nice, actually, and I've had a lot of fun. The anime convention has been great, and I can't wait for day three. Today, I'm going to cosplay as Nosuke from Demon Slayer, so let's get to it. Hey guys, thank you for sticking with me again. I really appreciate it. I wanted to say this was my first attempt at a vlog or a video blog. Um, I want to create more long form content for the ocarina because I like to tell stories and because I also like to share my experiences of teaching, showing or performing for other people um, in terms of the ocarina. So I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that was entertaining for you guys. If you want any more of this style of video please definitely leave a comment below because this took hours to edit and this was kind of a um, labor of love <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna do um, but I would super appreciate a like a comment a share or anything like that to help make this video like the first of many uh, or if you didn't like it you can also give me that feedback in the comments just let me know if you would like more tutorials more music or whatever you would like and now the part you've been waiting for so I want to celebrate my uh, channel's 10,000 subscriber milestone by doing an ocarina giveaway. I love doing ocarina giveaways because I love to uh, engage our community of ocarina players uh, here in the ocarina owl channel in the past when i hit 1000 subscribers i did a contest competition where a lot of people got to play a certain song and they got to as they were playing 
um, post a video or an audio of their performance. And this audio was entered into a competition of sorts um, in terms of musicianship. And there was judges and people that uh, were trying to get uh, the prize, which was an ocarina. So I'm going to be giving away a pretty awesome ocarina, if I do say so myself. It's an ocarina I've played on before, but don't own because I've given it away in the past before because I just love it so much that whenever I love an ocarina a lot, sometimes I give it away. Uh, so um, the ocarina that I'm going to be giving away is the Sonoro Altice Jade Crackle by Songbird Ocarina, um, which is a pretty awesome ocarina. It has this beautiful uh, sound and a beautiful jade crackle finish. It's just so unique. I'm going to put a picture of it on the screen right now so you can see it. That being said, here are the rules of how to enter the contest. You will have to learn a song on an instrument, or if you want to, you can also sing it if you feel comfortable with that. Um, but the song will be because I just recently finished my Dragon Roost Island video, um, and I left tutorials and tabs on that. Um, I went ahead and um, made that the competition song for this year and for this milestone. So uh, what uh, I need to see from you is I need a video or an audio uh, posted on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok with the um, theme from Dragon Roost Island. You can make it your own. You don't have to play it how I played it. And here's the most important part. It doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for creativity. And I know that the judges, whoever they are, I haven't decided yet, will also, I will also ask them to look for creativity and for somebody that exhibits uh, either really excellent musicianship or a lot of creativity. And I'm really looking for somebody that, one, posts the video on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Two, uses the hashtag Ocarina Army 10K. I'll leave that these rules in the description. And number three, uh, plays Dragon Roost Island in a very creative way. Now, if you just want to play it and just join our community celebration, feel free to do so as well. It's really good practice if you're learning Ocarina. If you're a beginner, I left you the tabs and the music and everything you should need on the Dragon Roost Island video, so I'll leave that also in the description. But those are the three steps to enter. Um, you um, also have a fourth additional step. Sorry, I forgot to mention. You do have to uh, be subscribed to Ocarina Ocarina Owl on YouTube, uh, follow Ocarina Owl on Instagram, and or follow Ocarina Owl on TikTok. So please feel free to do that and look out for additional entries um, so that you can um, have an additional chance to win the Ocarina. In order to get an additional entry, you have to at least have posted the song somewhere. So those are the rules for the giveaway. I really appreciate you guys for being a part of Ocarina Army and being uh, with me since I started my channel in 2015 it has been an amazing journey to get such awesome feedback from you guys and i'm just extremely thankful that you guys enjoy the videos that i post here on youtube i look forward to seeing y'all's entries don't forget to use that hashtag ocarina owl oh sorry ocarina army 10k and yes if you use ocarina owl i'll find it a lot easier so uh, please use those hashtags and thank you thank you so much we'll see you in the next video Bye for now.